Hello everybody, my name is Kirby. The special ingredient that we have for today is this. You see this? This is what you call a salmon skin. That aside, the topic that we are having today, it's more or less about the popular snack food which is the salmon skin chips. One thing that I have to mention is that these salmon chips, they are like so freaking expensive. And why is that? Maybe it's because of the tedious work on how hard is it to produce the fish. Well, with all that said, let's create something out of this. Okay everybody, the special ingredient that we have for today is this salmon skin. Judging by the color of the skin, this is most probably made from an Atlantic salmon skin. Based on the supplier that I bought this skin from, this skin is actually a smoked salmon skin. This skin has already been salted, which is convenient to me because if it's salted, it means the moisture of this skin has already came out from the skin and it's going to be easier to make this skin a little bit drier so that I can deep fry the skin later. I don't think there's much to say about the salmon skin, but if you want to take a look at the ingredient, alright, here we go. Based on what I can see from the skin, it looks like a typical salmon skin. This salmon skin has like all the scales inside here. I can say that after the scaling this salmon skin, you're going to lose a lot of weight. Plus, I can see a lot of this brown meat inside here. This part here, well, we're gonna have to trim it later. Like what I mentioned just now, making a salmon skin chips is gonna have like a really, really tedious work. After cleaning the fish, we're going to have to dry the skin. After drying the skin, then only we can deep fry the skin. With all that said, let's start this, shall we? First, we're gonna to have to descale the skin. Yeah, it's very, very, very messy. This is one of the reasons on why it is so freaking expensive. And believe me, I can say that this is actually the easy part. Next, I'm going to clean this really, really, really nice until there's like no meat left. You can do it like this. And here you have it. Nice, clean skin with no meat, no nothing left. Pure skin. I have like five pieces of these skins. Looks like it's gonna take quite a while for me to clean up all five skins. Well then. Well, one thing I can say for sure with my right arm, it feels like I've been through like 100 push-ups. Before the skin was clean, it was like kind of fat and now it looks like I have probably half the weight left of this skin. Well then. On to the next step. Next, we are going to give the skin a pat dry. This is to remove extra moisture. I'm just going to use a kitchen towel to wipe off all excess moisture from the skin. You can use a clean cloth, a kitchen towel or whatever, okay? As long as you can clear off the skin and make the skin like somewhat a little bit dry. After drying the skin, I'm just going to fold it and portion the skin. So maybe I'm going to fold the skin to be something like this and then I'll slice the skin like this. It automatically gives me like some sort of like portion skins. Anyways, I'll repeat this step with all the other skins and then we'll see what happens next. On this step here, this is actually optional. On normal cases, factories will just straight away put on a sun dry. But, but because I'm not a factory and I really want to get things done a little bit faster, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the salmon skins and place it on a wire rack. Just something like this. Well, this is what a tray of salmon skin actually looks like. Well, into the oven. Okay. And now I'm putting this skin into the oven for about, I can say, 10 minutes or 130 Celsius. But after the oven timer ends, I'm just going to like leave the skin inside there for about, I can say, probably around 30 minutes. This process will make the skin become a little bit much more drier and easier to sun dry later on. Alright, moving on to the next step. Probably around like 30 minutes has passed. Let's see what it's like inside. Woo, that's a lot of steam. Okay then, on to the next step. And here we have it. Okay, this is what the skin is like when it's out from the oven. Some part of the skin is pretty much transparent. You can even see through it. On to the next step, we are going to sun dry these skins. 
and this is a food dehydrator. It's basically a cage for me to put food inside here and leave it on the hot sun to dry. This thing actually prevents all those flies and whatever things from coming into your food. This is what you have to do. Simply put the skins inside here. After maybe about 2 or 3 days of drying the skin in the hot sun, we get this. As you can see, 5 salmon skins and all you get is only around this much. And these are actually pretty 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 light. Can you hear that sound? Some of the skins are like really really hard, they are like leather but they can also break and they have a really really nice snapping sound. And don't worry about the size because once you deep fry this skin, it will extend and it become like bigger size. Anyways, I have to leave this aside at the moment because before I fry this, I'm going to make several different sauces to eat together with my salmon chips. But what do I have in mind? Since that I'm going to compare salmon skin together with potato chips, why not make the sauce based on potato chips? However, I won't be making all those powder kind of flavor chips. What I have in mind is going to be three different sauces. First sauce is going to be literally sour cream and onion. And the second sauce is going to be chili cheese. And the third sauce I'm going to make avocado. Well then, with no further ado, let's get it started. We are going to start making our sour cream and onion sauce. Obviously, sour cream and onion must have the few main ingredients. Sour cream and onion. As a bonus, I'm going to have some chives here. First things first, I'm going to cut out the shit that I don't need. Putting it inside here. Onion goes here. I'm going to grate maybe the whole lime zest. If you really want to make lime to become like really easy to squeeze, all you have to do is just roll the lime. Just press it and roll. Once the lime becomes like squishy like this, it's gonna be very easy for you to squeeze the juice out. Squeeze the juice inside. And last but not least, sour cream. Season with some salt. And there you have it. Sour cream and onion sauce, done. Next, we're going to make our guacamole. The first thing we're gonna have to do, lime zest and lime. I'm gonna grate again, roll. How to peel an avocado is actually quite easy. All you have to do is just press. Oh my god, this avocado might be a little bit unbright. But never mind, let's see what's inside. There we go. I'll be removing the avocado from the skin. And now I'm gonna roughly chop them. into the lime and I'm going to mix the lime with the avocado just to make sure that the avocado doesn't become brown too fast. Next, the other half of the onion. And I'm just going to use about half of the onions here. Then season, salt and pepper. Pretty much a guacamole, done. And last but not least, we are going to make our chili cheese sauce. I'm going to start with some butter. Some of the onions I had just now some dry chili, a dash of heavy cream, and of course the most important part, cheese. Okay, now this is a perfect consistency. And now we are back to our skin and what we are going to do is we are going to deep fry the skin. Watch closely what happens when I put this in the oil. Yep, then take it out from the oil and let it cool down for like 10 seconds this thing becomes like a really really nice crispy chips let's fry another one look at this how small this skin actually is and that is how you make salmon fish skin chips This is what our typical crispy salmon skin looks like. And as what you can see throughout the entire video, you will be able to know on what kind of hard work we actually need to go through just to make salmon skin chips. For what it is worth, let's see what it is like right now. I'm going to start by eating the hot sauce. Now, let's see how the salmon skin actually snaps. Wow, you can hear the crispiness coming out. On to the taste test, let's see what the skin tastes like with the chili cheese. This is what the cheese looks like. You 
can feel the crispiness of the salmon skin and the skin actually melts in your mouth and you can feel the fishy flavour it's not like smelly flavour but it's like the fish skin flavour is like mm, falling all over your mouth if you ask me i say it's definitely better than the store-bought salmon skin chips next i'm going to try the next thing i feel is going to be a little bit more appetizing it's going to be our sour cream and onion just dip this skin onto the sour cream and onion sauce this is what the skin looks like right now now let's give this a try the sour, salty and onion. It makes the sauce taste really good. The cold sauce is that's really well with the salmon skin. But of course you have to eat it fast. Huh? Okay, next, let's go with the avocado. Well, time to try this out. Hmm, it tastes like typical guacamole, nothing special. If I'm going to give a rating on which of these three sauces suits well with the salmon skin, the sour cream and onion will be number one, the chili cheese will be number two, and the guacamole will be number three. What's nice about the salmon skin is that you probably can keep it for like more than a day before it becomes like soft. Well, it's pretty much the same way as potato chips once you leave it in air for a really long time. It's going to like become soft after a certain period of time. So best if you fry it and then keep it in an airtight container. Well then, and here you have it. This is the overall presentation of the salmon skin chips. I'm going to end my review now while I finish this meal. Okay, I'm done eating. Well, for an appetizer meal, that was pretty much a very nice meal to be honest. On today's episode, we are introducing about how to use salmon skin raw to make salmon skin chips. You get to see why the skin is actually so expensive in the first place and they give you like so little amount. Well, the answer is, to make the skin chips, it is like so much difficult work and the yield that you get from the skin is like so little but yet this is really really satisfying but overall, you never see people serving this item in the restaurant why? because obviously, I mean there is too much work needed to make this salmon skin chips and it's also a really tedious work, trust me technically, when I remove the meat from the skin trust me, my arm, it feels like I've been to the gym <laughs> that's just only 5 pieces of skin imagine if you have to do 100 pieces of skin that's gonna kill you, really well, if only we have a tool or a better way of removing the excess meat from the skin perhaps salmon skin chip can become a cheap thing to eat overall, that is my so-called conclusion on what I feel about the salmon fish skin chips nice taste, nice texture but it's really 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 difficult to produce if you know a better way of how to completely clean the salmon skin easily you know, let me know in the comments anyways, you can like, comment and subscribe to make my day so that I can make really really nicer videos for all of you well then, I'll see you next time. Bye!